If you're new to being a Shih Tzu owner, or even if you've had your Shih Tzu for a while, you might be unaware of how some of the things you do to your Shih Tzu can affect them. So, for all Shih Tzu parents, here are 12 things you should never do to your Shih Tzu. Number 12. Don't yank on your Shih Tzu's leash. While you might have to, on a rare occasion, yank on your Shih Tzu's leash to keep them out of danger, this is something to avoid. Doing this often can lead to a neck fracture. Your Shih Tzu has a hyoid bone at the base of their tongue. By yanking on a leash, this bone can break. That's not something you or your dog wants. A good solution to this problem is to use a harness instead of a collar. That way, you avoid putting any pressure on their neck whatsoever. Number 11. Never leave them without grooming. Shih Tzus need their coat to look great, so you need to care for it every day. Some Shih Tzus enjoy the extra attention that comes with this, especially when they get loads of praise for looking amazing. Shih Tzu's long hair is prone to tangling and matting, especially in areas like behind the ears, under the legs, and around the tail. Matting can be uncomfortable for the dog and may even cause skin irritation or infections if left unaddressed. Regular grooming helps distribute the natural oils in the dog's skin, keeping it healthy and moisturized. Failure to groom can lead to dry skin, which may cause itching, flaking, and discomfort for the dog. Number 10. Never expose them to extreme temperatures. Shih Tzus have certain characteristics that make them sensitive to extreme temperatures, whether hot or cold. Shih Tzus have short muzzles, which can make it difficult for them to regulate their body temperature effectively, especially in hot weather. They are prone to heat exhaustion and heat stroke if exposed to high temperatures for too long. Unlike humans, dogs primarily cool themselves through panting, and in extreme heat, this may not be sufficient. Despite having a long, luxurious coat, Shih Tzus are not well equipped to handle prolonged exposure to cold temperatures. Their small size means they have a larger surface area relative to their body mass, making them more susceptible to cold. Additionally, their coat may not provide adequate insulation in extremely cold conditions. Number 9. Never Neglecting Dental Care Dental care is crucial for maintaining your Shih Tzu's overall health and well-being. Just like humans, dogs can develop dental problems such as plaque buildup, tartar accumulation, gingivitis, and periodontal disease if their teeth and gums are not properly cared for. Neglecting dental care can lead to the development of dental diseases which cause pain, discomfort, and even serious health issues for your Shih Tzu. Dental diseases can impact not only your dog's mouth, but also their organs, as bacteria from the mouth can enter the bloodstream and affect other parts of the body. Number 8. Never pamper your Shih Tzu Pampering your Shih Tzu can be disastrous. You'll find that Shih Tzus are very sweet-natured, but they can be quite stubborn for their size. Some Shih Tzus also become manipulative with age. As the leader of the pack, it's up to you to be absolutely consistent about what you mean. Giving in to their demands and acting inconsistently will only result in a spoiled dog who doesn't listen when you say no. Number 7. Never give your Shih Tzu ice. My Shih Tzu loves to play with ice cubes when he was a younger dog. I didn't realize at the time that there was a danger in giving him an ice cube. Now I know better. If your dog tries to chew the ice cube, it can crack or break its teeth. This is especially true of the larger back teeth. A cracked or broken tooth is really painful for your Shih Tzu, and depending on the situation, you may have to have the tooth removed. Number 6. Never leave them without exercise. Although the size of the Shih Tzu makes it require less outdoor activity and exercise, occasional exercise will help keep them active and busy. To maintain their mental stability, you'll want to make sure they always have a toy they can play with at their disposal. These dogs like short walks, but don't stress if that's not possible on a daily basis. They're very active and won't need to exercise every day due to their size. On the other hand, they're great for agility competitions. This will help maintain their joints and tone their muscles through exercise. The exercise will also strengthen their respiratory and circulatory system, improve digestion, and help them sleep. Number 5. Never leave your Shih Tzu in your car. Leaving your Shih Tzu in your car, especially under certain conditions, can pose serious risks to their health and well-being. Shih Tzus are particularly susceptible to heat stroke due to their brachycephalic or short-nosed anatomy which can impede their ability to regulate body temperature efficiently. Even on a moderately warm day, the temperature inside a parked car can escalate rapidly, reaching dangerous levels within minutes. 
Dogs left in hot cars can quickly suffer from heat stroke, which can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. Closed cars can quickly become hot and stuffy, especially in sunny or humid weather. Leaving your Shih Tzu in a closed car, even for a short period, increases the risk of suffocation and heat-related distress. Number 4. Never feed them low-quality food. Small dogs, such as the Shih Tzu, need proper nutrition to maintain their energy levels. Food that has sufficient nutrition is perfect for your pets. If you're feeding them poor-quality foods, they will not only be detrimental to their health, but can even cause serious problems. It's important that the diets of dogs and cats are not compromised in any way, especially by poor quality food. The best quality dog food is formulated for the specific needs of your pet. Puppies' nutritional needs depend on their size, age, and metabolism. Make sure that you're buying the highest quality dog food available. Number 3. Never use harsh training methods. Shih Tzus respond best to positive reinforcement training methods. Avoid using harsh punishments or yelling. Harsh training methods can create a negative association with training sessions for your Shih Tzu. Instead of eagerly participating in learning, they may become fearful or stressed during training sessions, making it less effective and enjoyable for both you and your dog. Harsh training methods can increase anxiety and aggression in Shih Tzus. Dogs may become fearful or defensive if they associate training with punishment or discomfort, leading to undesirable behaviors such as growling, snapping, or even biting. Number 3. Never neglect socialization. Socialization is a critical aspect of a Shih Tzu's development, helping them become well-adjusted, confident, and friendly dogs. Proper socialization exposes your Shih Tzu to various people, animals, environments, and experiences, teaching them how to navigate the world around them. Without adequate socialization, Shih Tzus may develop fear or anxiety towards unfamiliar people, animals, or situations. This can lead to behaviors such as aggression, fearfulness, or withdrawal when faced with new experiences, potentially making outings and interactions stressful for both you and your dog. Number 2. Never leave them alone for long periods. Shih Tzus are companion dogs and thrive on human interaction. Leaving them alone for extended periods can lead to separation anxiety and other behavioral problems. Shih Tzus may become overly dependent on human interaction if they are constantly left alone. While it's essential for dogs to learn to be alone for short periods, leaving them alone for extended periods without socialization can lead to separation anxiety and other behavioral problems. Number 1. Never skip regular veterinary checkups. Regular vet checkups are essential for monitoring your Shih Tzu's health and catching any potential issues early. Skipping these checkups can result in undetected health problems worsening over time. 